the Detroit Auto Show on Tuesday, Nissan CEO Hiroto Saikawa announced that all Infinity automobiles introduced from 2021 on would either be fully electrics or plug-in hybrids that use the company's e-power system. That means that drop-dead gorgeous Infinity Q inspiration we told you about the other day might actually have an electric drivetrain. First, let's clear up some misconceptions about plug-in hybrids. Some, like the current offerings from BMW and Mercedes and Audi, have wimpy little batteries and depend much of the time on gasoline engines to generate enough electricity to move them forward. Often, the gas engine is mechanically connected to the driven wheels. Others, like the Nissan e-power system, use a larger, high-output battery that allows for electric-only operation during most routine driving. The onboard gas engine is not mechanically connected to the wheels and is there solely to drive a generator that makes electricity to recharge the battery and power the electric motor. Last August, Masayuki Asugi, general manager for research and development at Nissan Motor Indonesia, told reporters, the e-power system operates very quietly, much like a full out. Because e-power relies on the engine much less frequently, its fuel efficiency is comparable to that of leading conventional hybrids, especially during around-the-town commutes. During deceleration, the engine stops running and the regenerative power is used to charge the battery until the vehicle comes to a complete stop. It doesn't waste energy during deceleration, Asumi added. And like a fully battery electric car, a vehicle with the e-power system supports one pedal driving, in which regenerative braking can bring the car to a complete stop without using the mechanical brakes. That's a feature that takes some getting used to, but that drivers of electric cars soon learn to appreciate and form an addiction to. The Nissan Note e-power has proven very popular with drivers in Japan, where it is now Nissan's best-selling model. Saikawa did not mention the Infinity Q inspiration specifically in his announcement, but it usually takes at least three years to take a design from concept to production ready. If the car gets built, it wouldn't be until 2021 at the earliest, and so it would either be a fully electric car or one that is for all intents and purposes a larger, more luxurious version of the Chevy Volt. Nissan has not been winning many awards for automotive design lately. The original Leaf is a pretty good car but is rather homely to look at. The Duke is just downright goofy looking. But the Infinity Q inspiration proves the company still knows how to design a car that turns heads. The show car is electrifying. If it makes it to production, it could also be electric. Editors note, I'm an admitted fan of the Duke design, and I know another writer on our team who is as well. Not to say it isn't goofy looking. Nissan Q Inspiration is not electric, but wows in Detroit anyway.